Hello Ox community and welcome back to another 5 Minute Friday and thank you guys so much for clicking on that thumbnail because without all of you I'd just be some weird dude sitting here talking to himself. So to those of you that are just tuning in or are new to our community, this channel is all about our family, our travels, and the things we use on them. We're just about to embark on a wild six months adventure to mainland Southeast Asia, but we haven't always been that way. If you take a stroll back into our past to our first videos, you'll see that we actually started as a team of five good friends retracing the Oregon Trail. So. Along with this crazy new adventure, our history goes way back into the past of those early pioneers. And if you want to check out that adventure, click here. But today, we're going to talk about something that, frankly, I hope you never need. A land anchor. Land anchors have always been one of those pieces of equipment that I've wanted to carry with me, but because of the size, weight, and cost, it always seemed a bit too much for that one situation where I'd actually need it. I mean, let's face it, we're typically with at least one other vehicle, and even if I do find myself alone, the chances that the terrain will be void of any anchor points to winch from is a pretty specific situation. So up until recently, the question has always been, do I forego the anchor in hopes I never get myself in a situation where I'd need it? or do I bite the bullet, waste the space, and buy a land anchor? But now, we have another option. Occasionally a product comes along that's so simple yet useful, all you can say to yourself is, I wish I'd thought of that, and the Dead Man Earth Anchor is a classic example of this. A perfect balance of simplicity, versatility, and function, the Dead Man is not just a land anchor, but a tool to take on any terrain that you might find yourself in. The beauty of the Dead Man is in its simplicity. It's a two by four foot ripstop vinyl tarp with attached webbing, all rated to take on whatever you can throw at it. But it has something that no other land anchor or frankly recovery tool has, redundancy. It's built with a minimum breaking strength of 80,000 pounds, but because of the way it's designed with the two straps, it's always got a backup if one were to become compromised or break. And you guys know me, I'm a sucker for multifunction, and like I said before, this is not just a land anchor, it's also a tree saver and a rock sling. So whatever mother nature throws at you, Dead Man has got your back. Before we dive into the specs of the Dead Man, I wanted to take a second and talk about why we like it over the traditional land anchor and the differences between the two. The traditional land anchor is designed much like a boat anchor, just with a little more strength to recover vehicles that are stuck on land. It's pretty easy to deploy, and once started, it uses the force of the pull to anchor itself deeper and deeper into the ground. So theoretically, the harder you pull, the more anchored you are. It can prove to be difficult to remove based on the terrain you're in, but the biggest drawback with this style of land anchor is the size, weight, and cost. At 40 pounds, almost 4 feet long, and up to $800, it's not just an investment of weight and space, it's also an investment of those hard-earned dollars. Compare that to the Dead Man at five pounds, just over two feet long and under two bills, and you can see why we started to lean towards the Dead Man over the traditional land anchor. The real difference between the two is how long it takes to deploy and use. You're really trading the space and weight of the traditional land anchor for the time and energy of the Dead Man. Because while they both provide an excellent winch point where there otherwise wouldn't be one, it's much easier using the force of the pull than it is digging a two by two by four foot hole. But when weighing my options, the fact that I was rarely if ever gonna be in a situation where I needed a land anchor, it made much more sense carrying something I know was gonna be used for other purposes, intended or not, with the understanding that if I did need to use the dead man as a land anchor it was going to take a little more effort to make it work by the way did you know that burying something for the purpose of a winch or leverage point is actually by definition called a dead man it's true i looked it up okay let's talk specs and how it's used each of the two straps is rated at 20,000 pounds so when used in combination it's got a rating of 80,000 pounds which means your winch line is more likely to break than the dead man as a tree saver, you roll it so the straps are slightly offset, use a shackle to attach all four loops to the winch line, and pull it in. As a rock sling, or hugger as they call it, the most important thing to remember is that the rock is big enough to support the vehicle and sturdy enough to be an anchor point. Because the last thing you want is a rock coming at you with nowhere to go. As a land anchor, it takes a little more effort. At a minimum, you want your hole to be the size of the tarp and two feet deep, but from experience in the sand, we actually needed to go 
four feet deep to provide enough resistance to pull ourselves out. As a general rule of thumb, you're probably better off going twice as deep as you think because believe me, there's nothing worse than being stuck in the pouring rain and digging the second hole because the first one wasn't deep enough. The rigging for using it as a land anchor requires two shackles, one to attach the back straps to the secondary loops on the front straps, the second to attach the front straps to the winch line. It's pretty straightforward, but if you've never used it before, it can be a little confusing. Like I said before, it's a pretty simple product that I wish I'd thought of. <laughs> so huge thanks to Michael from Wonderlust Overland for being my actor and assistant. Uh, if you guys are in the Pacific Northwest and looking for somebody to outfit you or your vehicle for the next big adventure, Go check them out, www.wonderlustoverland.com. They're a full service Overland outfitter. In fact, about 90% of the work that went down on the GX happened right there in their shop. So go give them a follow. And of course, Dead Man Off-Road, thank you guys for being patient. This was kind of a hard five minute Friday to do because there's not a lot of areas in the PNW that don't have trees to anchor to. So go get yourself a land anchor at www.deadmanoffroad.com. And if you do, Use the coupon code OXOVERLAND10 and not only will you get 10% off, but they're also going to kick 10% back to us for our Southeast Asia trip. So awesome. Go give them a like, a follow. We love companies that support us in our community. And we'll see you guys next time on 5 Minute Friday. Peace. Occasionally a product comes along that occasionally occasionally a product comes along that occa occasionally occasionally a product occasionally a product comes along that's so you Occasionally a product comes along that's so simple yet useful that all you can say to yourself is